Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. I got asked to do a comparison between capacities and any type. So today that's what I'm going to do and we can start off by looking at capacities. This is my YouTube test workspace which I use to create YouTube videos and I have put things into it for another YouTube video but we are going to take a look at it. So you have a daily notes page or a calendar page where you can just start off by taking notes. Writing everything down inside of your daily page is a great way to just get things into the app and then you can organize them later. It also has a WhatsApp integration which I have used where you can text yourself notes and they will end up in your calendar page. Then we have all of your objects. So everything inside of the app is an object. This is what's called object-based note-taking. Uh, and that's the sort of note-taking I know that a lot of people like. But if we take a look at one of my objects, I can easily turn this into a wall, a list, or even a table view with the, its properties. So another great way to just look at your things and store your information so if we jump into one of these i think i have a few properties in this one as you can see there are a few properties here so i could add an image a phone number tag an email so you can view all of your information inside of a database with all its properties so you can do that for all of your different objects and I would say that this app is quite easy to use. It has a dark mode as well for those of you who prefer that. For this YouTube video, I'm just going to use going to use the light mode. It has templates. You can create your own templates. You can view your days in a week, a month or a three day view. So there are a lot of options here, but I would say that capacities is quite easy to learn. It is more complex than something like Apple Notes, but it is least, uh, less complex than something like Obsidian. But now we are going to take a look at any type. So I've created a new workspace just for this video. If you want to see any of my other uh, other cap and other any type videos sorry if you want to see some of my other any types videos i will link them down below there you can see how you can build your own workspace i'm going to do another video on that quite soon but this app has widgets so you can store different widget sets which basically is databases and you can have things inside of your favorites as well you can easily create new things a page a task a collection but just like just like uh, capacities this is also object based and you can go into your library to find all of your different types or objects so you have sets which is databases notes tasks video page file and you can create your own as well they also have a huge library where you can have class notes or diary entries goals and so on and i would say that where um, capacities has some structure to it there is some structure built into the app it is still quite versatile but i would say that any type is a lot more versatile you can create everything exactly the way you want to create it while you can create a lot of things inside of capacities as well but it isn't as customizable as something like any type. On the other hand, when it is customizable, it becomes a lot more complex. And this app is quite complex. I love the app, it's not that, but it has a huge learning curve, just understanding different types and different relations. So relations are basically properties inside of every other app but they are calling it relations and you can create your own relations as well so if i wanted to track my social medias i could add a relation called social media there are a lot of options inside of this again a lot more customizable than something like capacities but you will 
have a bigger bigger learning curve when it is more customizable so that's the main difference between the app i would say that capacities is a lot better if you just like taking notes if that's something you love doing you can view things inside of a database in capacities as you can do inside of inside of any type with its sets but if you are a person who would like to who would like to customize a lot more and just build your entire workflow and you enjoy building a workflow i would say that any type is a lot better so if you're used to building your own workflow and that's something you would like to do i would recommend using any type but if you want some structure to your app without sacrificing too much of the customizability and you want an easier learning curve i would recommend something like capacities and if you're a person who changes notes app a lot i would recommend capacities over any type because it's simply easier to learn but then again if you have more customizability the app gives you or a lot more wiggle room on how you want to use the app how you want to use your workflow so i would say that that's the biggest difference between the two both of them are great apps and i would recommend both of them but it all depends on what you need and what you want thank you for watching if you have any questions please do comment them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can and i hope to see you again quite soon